This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPÖ. This is the 39th episode, still recorded on the 29th of April. Uh, 2017 and we have a return guest the only man who broke the FFPO formula of one episode one movie <laughs> by making me split up an episode it is Reginald Barris hi Reggie hi I gotta say, so you like just recorded the shit with Roswan right right before I got yeah. here yeah and I will say, uh, it is it's really weird to me that you live your life in a way that a very productive day for you yeah. entails only watching movies. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, I it was a it very out. busy day. I, I had to out. watch two films and Rick and Morty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was just a palate cleanser. It's a palate cleanser, definitely. After the Rosalind and the fucking three hour war movie, yeah. I needed something to cheer me up. And you were like, you were all so silent during that. You it were. Really, it was like you were it, all laughed out from watching the Holocaust film. <laughs> You're just like, look, we already laughed. I don't know what writing Actually, you think you can no do. there's no Holocaust in that one. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, three hours, no Holocaust. Three hours, no Holocaust. What the hell? Yeah. And, That's like the biggest min- cock tease. And minimal war criming on parts of the uh, German. Did you have blue balls by the end of it? <laughs> <laughs> I had brown balls, yeah. Why brown? Uh, because that was the... the the Nazi party color. Oh, just in general? Yeah. Okay. Bad, bad color choice, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, because I they think most boots are black. Yeah. You can't wear both of those because <laughs> they're Europeans, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> the first time anyone said the Nazis didn't have fashion so, sense. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so the first thing is uh, what what we had to do is was... Is that a vagina? Huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Orgasm girl. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Nobody paid attention to this up till now. You are the first one to know this. Oh, you think I'm not going to notice a vagina <laughs> just staring me right in the face? It's off to the side <laughs> and it's tiny. And it's covered That's up. That's the best kind, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I have much to learn. Much to learn from you. Definitely. <laughs> Best vagina is on the side. <laughs> yes, best Reggie. vagina is on the side and small. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hard to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, <laughs> um, so we needed something lighter, I guess. And you had the choice between two movies. And I chose wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you think? I don't know. I don't know. Door number two it doesn't wasn't that attractive. Oh, you, you haven't either. seen the horror movie, have you? No. So you don't know if it was good. But yeah. I don't know. And was it was it a comedy horror movie? The other um, one? No. It was a real horror movie. Yeah. It couldn't have been worse. It couldn't have been more <laughs> cheesy than what we watched. So what we watched was yeah. Batman and Robin, the 1997 Joel Schumacher movie, starring George Clooney. Uh, and uh, other people. Other, uh, no, uh, no, sorry. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger. And other people. <laughs> yeah. And George Clooney, and then Uma Thurman, and yeah. then uh, Alicia Silverstone. Yes. And then some dude. As Robin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest, I remembered it being so good. Yeah. Okay, so. I was wrong. Okay, so you watched it before, but you were how old? I was like, I was like, when it came out. Oh, you saw it in the cinema? Or Probably on, not. On VHS. No, I think the last time I saw it cable. was... Uh, I, the last time I remember watching it, I think I was in a hotel room. Okay. When I was, and like when I was living in a hotel room with my mom, and that would be 98. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah so... It was, that's the last time I remember watching it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So your, your kid, kid brain... My kid brain my, thought it was fantastic. Yeah, my, my kid brain thought it was super cool as well. When I watched it, like I told you about the action figure figurine that I had, oh, yeah, just the, Robin, and the fact that you had like <laughs> schoolgirl Catwoman's exact same outfit. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, you didn't, but like, okay, the way it was yeah. presented to me yeah. to the audience yeah. is we were watching it, and the thing is, like, 
the girl who becomes Batgirl. I think yes. Catwoman, Batgirl. Uh, no, bad person. Uh, or Batwoman, because we have to be <laughs> PC. Uh, yeah, she knocks on the door to come from to come yeah. from England to visit Alfred with yeah. her American a- accent, and because that's she, already a load of bullshit. Yeah, and because it takes too long for someone to answer the door, because. Because Bruce Wayne's like, I'll get yeah. it, Alfred. And yeah. then walks the opposite direction. Because uh, it takes too long. For some reason, she decides to stand on something. Yeah. So that she's like, oh, she vagina want, level. She at, wanted to get the, She thought there was a key on the... on the. Why would Bruce Wayne leave a key to his mansion <laughs> on... The, <laughs> I don't know. But, you know so she's looking for a she key was, up she, there. Because the only thing she saw was American movies. And it always works like that. If there's not a potted plant, where's the key underneath? In all the procedural crimes... Crime, crime things. They Bruce always Wayne, have to. Yeah, Bruce Wayne is rich enough that he can just pay someone to always be home to let him in. Yeah, a la Alfred. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> who's also taking his sweet, sweet time to open that door. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, so he's sick, so Bruce Wayne's like, I'll get it, but I'm not really going to get it, but I'm going to make it look like I'm trying, which yes. is me, anytime a girl gives me a blowjob, I'm yeah. like, I don't want to appear ungrateful, so I'm yeah. just going to pretend I'm trying, but I'm really going the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> so in that time, she's looking for a key, she's standing up on like a chair or some yeah. nonsense, and then Robin opens the door, yeah. and she, he's like face level with her, short skirt, yeah. like she's an Asian schoolgirl, and Paul's first thing was, oh, that makes a lot of sense. I had that same outfit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what I meant was Robin's outfit. But yeah, I, I, actually, in all honesty, I would rather wear her clothes than, than either Bruce Wayne's turtleneck mess or or the... the or, the, was, or the, what you wore for years. <laughs> like, yeah, back then, yeah, it didn't... Well, I, I would rather wear really her dress unpopular. than the clothes that I owned. I was really unpopular. <laughs> that so. shocks me. <laughs> <laughs> With a certain group of people, which was most people. <laughs> which was those who breathe. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was really popular with the I zombies. was very unpopular with a certain group of people. I called them my friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's still true to, the, to this day. <laughs> Friend, my friends still hate me. <laughs> All for different but valid reasons. <laughs> And it's not cool how much you enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie is just falling apart by you guys. Oh, man. But he had some wine, so... Uh, yeah, he's, he's wine funny. Uh, <laughs> I had wine on an empty stomach, so... All right, so let's move on to the mm-hmm. first part of business, and that's... <laughs> oh, thanks for the assist, man. <laughs> um, always enjoy that. And that, no sarcasm. I actually enjoyed oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. No, Go- Georg was the first one who who did that. Okay. Yeah. Had he listened to your podcast beforehand? Uh, apparently. He still someone. came on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Oh, okay, that's how, how, how beaten my brain is now after the... 360, uh, uh, 720 we did, I did between a war movie, Rick and Morty, and this. I thought you were just like, that's how fucked up my brain is after two hours of Arnold, like an Austrian <laughs> accent making <laughs> shitty puns. And I was going to say, welcome to the Vienna comedy scene as soon as you entered it. <laughs> <laughs> Categorically, my puns. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was like watching Paul in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you really, you really glom on to weird compliments. Of like, hey, you look like the nerd from The Hangover. Oh, really? Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Really? In Batman and Robin. Robin. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Wouldn't take it any other way. <laughs> Maximum cheese. Um, so, the plot is Batman and Robin are already a team. They are already f- fighting crime, and a new villain just uh, appears out of nowhere in the first two minutes. And they are so fine with it. They yeah. are so cool with yeah. the idea. And of- they don't even introduce uh, 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 Commissioner Gordon. Well, I mean, the, he no, just pops up. He just pops up. You thought he was a colonel. Like, yeah. You thought it was a war general. Just yeah, being like, so many, Go to the museum. Yeah, yeah. The guards were frozen. And 
The only thing frozen were the inanimate objects. Yeah, and like they weren't he, going anywhere. Yeah, and then he froze some guards yeah. after making his first pun. Also, <laughs> wait, wait, which one was that? Which one was that? Uh, uh, what killed the dinosaurs? No, the, the ice age. Uh, I think he's, or did uh, he. Or I, I, look, I don't I, know. I, 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 I do know that he explained one of the universal truths <laughs> of the universe, which is that <laughs> everything, everything freezes. freezes. That's way later, though. No, but, it was the same. It was still in the right? museum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. my, a lot a two, happened in that it's a, museum. It's a two-hour movie, but still, I remember like five scenes. A, a lot <laughs> happened. It, it was basically five scenes of just. <laughs> it was that. It was the most inefficient heist I've yeah. ever seen. <laughs> yes, like it was like Ocean's Negative also, Four. Who has a crazy ass huge diamond right next to the dinosaur exhibits? <laughs> I'm. That's a good question. I'm not. That, that mu- look, what I, kind of museum is this? I can't answer that question because I don't go to museums. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes. But I assume that's illogical. <laughs> yeah. But what makes even less sense is the fact that this motherfucker has a freeze gun, uh-huh. and all he had to do. Well, he's Mr. Freeze. No, no, that's not the point I was getting at. There was more to that sentence. Oh, okay, okay. It's yeah. crazy. Why does Mr. Freeze freeze stuff? That doesn't make sense. <laughs> No, it's that he has a freeze gun. Yeah. And he goes in there, he freezes all the things that aren't moving, <laughs> waits for a few more guards to come at him yeah. so that he can make his quips, because I planned these quips all day. I'm not going <laughs> to not use them. Yeah. A totally. few of them didn't even land when he's like, hey, them's the breaks. <laughs> them's the breaks would be better than most stuff that he said. Shit, that sounded a lot better in my head. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't see the relevance, but then again, I'm Mr. Freeze. Yeah. So then, like... It, Instead of just going in there, freezing everybody relevant, taking it, and walking out, yeah, he's already been there just freezing random, random shit. Stuff. Yeah. Batman <laughs> wasting shows up. Wasting energy. Yeah. Wasting, which is which diamond could kill powered. him. Which, diamond powered. He's, he's stealing a diamond <laughs> so he can power his diamond powered suit that he's wasting energy with to steal said diamond. Yes. Uh, it's a vicious circle of diamond. It's diamond <laughs> energy. Diamond energy turns into freezing ray. Freezing ray enables you to steal more diamonds. It's it's, it's a, a Ponzi wish- scheme. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> he just he just Bernie made off himself. <laughs> <laughs> so the but, funny thing though is that Arnie is way better at economics than Bernie made off. So the thing is, like, all that happens, Batman comes in, yeah. and, like, Batman has been introduced to him while driving. Like, Batman's driving, and Commissioner Gordon just yeah. knows, like, Batman's probably in his car. Yes. That's where I should call. And he says, like, hey, there's a guy. His name's Mr. Freeze. Also, I don't know why. With, the, the video quality on that video stream was way beyond Skype, what we have today. <laughs> like, 20 years after this movie, we still He's don't Bruce get... Wayne. All right? He had a telescope that can see not light sources. Yeah, uh, around the... Uh, yeah, it reflects darkness from the other side of the. Hey, guess what? Yeah. <laughs> but, no, so like, but the thing is, like, I don't know why they know he's Mr. Freeze because I guess he must have just gone in there and be like, I'm, I'm Mr. Mr. Freeze. Freeze. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because he just knew his name. He's like, it's Mr. Freeze. Yeah. And they're like, all right, sounds cool. And Batman he's is so a- cool with it. He jumps into the room. He's like, hey, Freeze. I'm, I'm Batman. Batman. <laughs> Which is like, hey, Freeze. I'm cool with calling you Freeze because <laughs> yeah. I know what my name is and I'm yeah. not really one to judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, then they get in this big old fight where, where Mr. Freeze has to call for the backup from a bunch of random street hooligans with mm-hmm. colanders as helmets yeah. and hockey sticks in their hands. And amazing hockey skills. And they are integral to his heist. <laughs> like, they are <laughs> yes. integral to him when he's got a gun <laughs> and everybody's coming at him and with a a billy clubs. And a, a tank. A tank, a gun, a tank that shoots fireworks for no reason. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And in the first scene, a fucking space rocket. Yeah, all these things, but he needs the hockey playing hooligans mm-hmm, yep. <laughs> so that he can steal a diamond. Yeah. Because when he's fighting against guards that have billy clubs, like every cop in this whole world, this is not, this is America. Yeah. What American fiction land? That's the biggest thing I had to suspend my disbelief on, okay? Maybe not Mr. Freeze. Scott? Look, no, because it was the cops later, too. Oh, yeah, like, that's right. Like, yeah. it's seriously, like, we are watching a movie where he freezes everybody using a telescope. Yeah. And the biggest thing I had to suspend my disbelief on <laughs> is that American police officers don't have guns. <laughs> <laughs> And that LL Kuji doesn't get arrested for, for doing <laughs> He illegal, was the only black man in the entire movie. And doing illegal street races. Yeah. No? There, well, there was a black woman, the scientist at the end, 
that was oh, just right. yelling and getting frozen. Repeatedly. Yeah, she was just like, damn, <laughs> he got <laughs> his shit be froze. <laughs> Only you can say that. <laughs> she, she was wearing MC Hammer pants and she just started singing Ice Ice Baby. Like, that was her only role. Yeah. That didn't actually happen, but I wish it would have. Uh, it would have. Made, it would not have been the cheesiest thing to happen in nope, this movie. Nope. It would have actually grounded the movie more. <laughs> finally, some realism. Some Finally, some truth to this art. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they confront Mr. Freeze. He bugs off with the diamond in a space rocket. That is all just the first five minutes of the movie. Oh, yes. <laughs> we are not deep into this two-hour movie. Nope. Nope. Uh, I'm afraid this, all, this will also turn out into a two-hour episode again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Reggie. Um, so he <laughs> Stop making me watch movies that infuriate me. Hey, and <laughs> you chose this one. I know, I messed up. <laughs> yeah. Like I wish I could be like Luke, where the whole time you're just like, yes, it was very fun. Yeah. It was a very good plot. Yeah. And I'm just like, and this bullshit, and this bullshit. <laughs> at, this mo- at this time, you're monkey wrenching yourself. Look, yes, I will say, yes, I did choose this movie. Yeah. But I still feel like you're forcing me to watch like some shit movie because you made the stipulation it has to be awesome. Austria related and good well, luck yeah. good luck finding a good film with those qualifications Look, that's like a hooker who doesn't have herpes have fun looking for that <laughs> <laughs> we, we covered some good movies and you you, you also you made Christoph watch CC yeah well, <laughs> well that's because it's an Austrian classic I an internationally regarded Austrian classic. I didn't know who she was until he told me this story. He really? Like, he was like, I had to watch Cece. I'm like, I don't know what that is. And every, like, <laughs> Christoph it, was, Fritz. it was Luke, Christoph, and Sonia all like just staring at me like, she was the empress. Yeah. I'm like, of where? <laughs> <laughs> you are really, truly the ugly American. No. No. No, I just like... Who's you, that? No, it's Jason? just like you're... <laughs> All right, let's go yeah. back to this. Otherwise, we're going to yeah. be stuck here for three hours. <laughs> so, Batman um, tries <laughs> to overpower him in the while they fly with the space rocket into space. What is what is what is Arnie's plan here? Uh, does he want to just use the rocket to escape, or what? What's the ultimate goal with the rocket? Right? Because the rocket doesn't really come up again ever. No, not really. Like, the only thing... It was like it was an escape pod yeah. that shot him out 80... Th- I, I think part of it was to kill Batman. You think it was a deliberate trap? It's a weird trap to set up, like, to like go in from the get-go knowing yeah. that. But, like... Also, he's, they, they well, didn't like, have what, a feud at this time. Like, he couldn't... He, he brought it to the museum. It's not like That's he my was point. Like, it's an elaborate thing to bring to the museum yeah, as part Batman of your plan. Yeah, and Batman was like, hey, I'm Batman. Like, they met for the first time right. at that time. So he couldn't right. have, like, I have this Batman trap device just in case he shows up. You say that, but Batman and Robin had just heel clip ice skates <laughs> just in case they ever came across totally, a bad guy that totally made the ground ice again. like every time do we mention those and you get mad which for it's for, for so stupid they're, they're, it's so stupid it's really stupid like, it's I get really that he has gadgets but like why do you just have like what situation I think would you was, ever have that maybe, you think I might need ice skates maybe it's a 1950s homage in this case with well no they had, they had something for example called um Wait, they, they were, um, take this sad pill to counter the laughing gas was a real line from the 1950s Batman. Or, or... Uh, what does it have to do with ice skates? No, just the, 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 how silly the gadgets get. Or they had a shark repellent spray just in case that they were dropped in a basin with sharks. Sure, and it, it says shark repellent. Sure, spray it, on it's it. kitschy. I yeah, get it, but yeah. like, it's still fucking ridiculous. Especially with such a high production movie. Especially when you didn't know there was a bad guy that made ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair just enough. like they had like a, a fan boat, like they're gonna like just in case they have a villain that brings a bayou. Like <laughs> it, it makes no sense. <laughs> But yeah, so like with them preparing for that, maybe he was Bio preparing Man for the is the one of Batman's greatest villains, so. 
Bayou Boy. Bayou Boy. Uh, if yeah. you want to be PC about it. <laughs> Bayou, Bayou person. person. <laughs> here's the thing. Like, I, here's my thing. This movie if, if, destroyed me. How did... Like, surely... Cause, okay, here's my thing. Yes, please. Tell me Mr. Your Freeze thing. has been like this for a while. Apparently. He has an origin story. Yeah, because and he it, had goons. Yeah. He had a goon he had goons. He had his own... Uh, Tank. He had his own tank. He had a lot of equipment. Yeah. He had a plan. He had a he m- had, bunch of diamonds already. He had a his own ice cave. Like, yeah. He had it all set up with a, a sesame chicken box. You press a button behind <laughs> it and my wife's just dying there. Yeah. Um, all this stuff he had. Laura he, Freeze. Something stupid. Yeah. yeah. Laura Freeze. <laughs> because he's Austrian. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Laura Fritze. My name is Dr. Victor Fritze. <laughs> also, he's a two-time <laughs> Olympic decathlon. Slash member. Yeah. quantum physicist. Yeah, like whatever basically. Yeah. Science he was doing. Holy yeah, so, fuck. He's, he's, yeah. That's like Arnie's wet dream. It's, like, I'm also a doctor. Not only he's a professor. A Why is he yoked? <laughs> so yoked. Also an Olympian. <laughs> 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 Which spot allows that kind of muscle mass? The, the calf? A uh, ton of them. <laughs> <laughs> Like at least the decathlon is not even a, a, like that's not a sport. It's not a sport. Him, yeah, <laughs> just just give him like wrestling or I don't know uh, 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 weights. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just give him weights. Yeah. yeah. Deadlift. Uh, he's no, he, a gold medalist in deadlift. He is. Uh, okay, I have an idea. Why? Why don't we make him? I just think we could. Uh, I don't know how to do him. <laughs> but like, I don't know what accent I was trying to do. I was just making it's myself sound funny. weird. It's yeah, that's funny. kind of all I was going for. But it's like, uh, well, why are we going to explain why this scientist is so big? Well, uh, I don't know. Maybe he was uh, also a bodybuilder, and then he was. An, I don't know, like an actor or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why well, was Oscar the Grouch or some shit with that accent? But still, it, making. Mr. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze was the right move. Sure. Because those cheesy lines can't be said by anybody else and not destroy their career. <laughs> like, sure. have, have this dialogue been spoken by, I don't know, Michael Caine, for example, which would be a way better pick to represent the comic Mr. book, Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Oh, it's like a sad It's a old very man. slender, tall man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at the thing. Um, my point is just this. He's been doing yes. this for a while. Oh, yeah. But, like, no one's heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> no one's aware of who he is. Yeah. He's recruited hockey-playing hooligans <laughs> who are devoted to... Yeah, a bunch, bunch who are devoted and they practice. He has a side man. Rest. He only says him, his name once. Frosty! But still. He's done it long enough that he's been able to... <laughs> To compose, uh, he's a conductor for the Heat Miser. Ah, Mr. Yeah. Heat Miser. Yeah. Ah, Mr. Cold. Like, he's able to get them to yeah. choreograph, sing that in unison like a fucking boys' choir. You're right. But Batman's never heard of him. Yeah. What kind of shit hero is Batman? <laughs> he is the world's worst detective in this one. He's definitely. Really- definitely. Just relying on his gadgets. Yeah, he's too busy having a dick swinging contest with Robin. Oh, yeah. He's a- <laughs> oh, fuck that storyline. So I think we're not going to describe the whole plot because we're going to be here forever. <laughs> But Robin is like, no, nah, no, nah, Batman, you're not letting me do anything. I, I want to come with another person. Yeah, and- <laughs> I, I, I don't want to be the power button. The, the I'm autism. tired of being the bassist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want my own band. Me. Even though he's living hey, like, a, he, he like, a, like a god, He basically. literally said at one point, it's always your way. It's like, it's your house. It's your gadgets. It's always going to be Batman and Robin, yeah. not Robin and Batman. It's like, you just it's said tr- why. Like, you just Maybe said why. Maybe Jumaka at that point, right at that point, had a really bad breakup with his wife. And he just projected Robin uh, as, as his wife and him as... As, as Batman, that would make a lot of sense in this one because they, they have such a wifey, cliche wifey uh, husband relationship mm-hmm. where, where, it's, where Batman is definitely an abusive asshole. He's such a dick. He's, He's such, such a, a dick, dick to Robin. Way. But Robin is also an asshole. <laughs> like, nobody's a good guy. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. All the 
the the heroes in this Elephant, movie, I guess. Oh, but all the heroes in this movie were kind of dickheads. Yeah, all the bad guys were just so laughable that you can't like. There's the no stakes <laughs> were so low. <laughs> Stinks. <laughs> Even when Arnie was freezing half of uh, half of, 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 of the city, you're like, nah. That's the thing. Arnold Schwarzenegger, his his plan was to freeze half. Okay, that is another thing. <laughs> yeah, no, no, uh, the, the plan he, is different. He, he he teamed up with Poison Ivy, whose whole plan yeah. was let's save the planet. Yeah. humans are destroying the yeah. planet. So she teamed up with a guy who wanted to freeze, freeze the, the planet. entire planet. They have and they were like, all right, let's yeah, it's team up. Let's be friends. Yeah, and his plan, he froze all of Gotham, and that was his big like evil thing. Yeah, but Batman in a in a way, like, you remember how when uh, Rami did the whole Black Humor Matters thing? Yes. And he thought that he could legitimately fix the situation by saying hashtag all humor which, matters? Which, which episode of your podcast should they listen to to get the full story in this one? Uh, episode one and I think episode six. All so right. The, the, yeah, one, with, the one with Jack and yeah. the one with Tamash. Yeah. Um, guys, listen to that one. Great episodes, yeah. by the way. And in the same way that it's just this blunder after blunder trying to fix it, Batman's solution to Mr. Freeze freezing the yep. entire city was to harness the sun with a series of reflective, reflective. satellites yep. through a telescope. They are uh, apparently U.S. Army made. For and, some reason. And just like magnifying glass the city <laughs> like an anthill. Yeah. And he's not the villain somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he timed it just right. Well, he knows. They only have 11 minutes to be frozen before... They die? I don't know. What's what's the 11 minutes Before anyways? I stop caring. Yeah. <laughs> oh, at this point, I stopped caring so much. I was enjoying myself again just because I gave up on, on... Because I watched this movie now for the third time, I think. Once when I was a kid and I was really excited about it. Once when I was like, I think 20 or something like that. And I was like, fuck this fucking bullshit. Fuck, fuck it, you fuck, fuck, fuck mess of a movie. And then I watched it again today and I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Well, it's garbage, but it's... No, you were like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, puns! <laughs> yeah. Puns! There are yeah, so I many was, puns! I, I, no, I was always entertained when Arnie was on, on, on screen. Because of the aforementioned puns. Yeah, and he, just his delivery and everything and overacting. And Honestly, he was like the one best of the act- least overacting actors. Yes, yeah, he was still massively overacting. Oh, sure, but like comparatively. Yeah, he was one of the best... <laughs> like, who would have thought that somebody would say, you know, bro... <laughs> You know, George Clooney really, really should have learned, learned a lesson. He did from get top Arnie. billing. Schwarzenegger <laughs> got top billing. Yes. In the credits. Yes, so funny. But this thing, like, it, it's really weird when two things. <laughs> it was weird when Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't the character that we had the most problem understanding in the movie because mm-hmm. Alfred was so hard. He was mumble mouth whenever he got sick. Yeah. And then it was also weird that the guy who's got like. Who looks like Goldfinger? Like just like spray painted, like uh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like silver yes. makeup all over, yeah, him. and a little, in a, a metallic of blue, yeah, and in a meta- and like glowing eyes, like yeah. a, like you flash a flashlight in the cat's eyes at yes. night, and then a glowing metal suit, mm-hmm. and he's somehow the, the the person who grounds it. He yeah. grounds it with his yeah. acting. Amazing. And like, that's the character I can, like, yeah. okay, now I see, like, a look, real people. Sh- look, he, he should have at least got an Oscar nomination for mm-hmm. for, for the oh. acting skill he portrayed. Don't carried away. <laughs> <laughs> he should have not gotten a Razzie. <laughs> Did he get a Razzie for that? I don't know. Oh. But I hope this movie got a lot of Razzie. Well, here's the other thing that, oh, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Like, you know how, like, if you watch The Matrix again, you realize how many tropes in movies yeah. came from, from the, the Matrix. Matrix? Yeah. I feel like all of Arnold's, like, rah, 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 <laughs> just came from this movie. <laughs> <laughs> not from the town. It, uh, there was, not, like, a 10 not, minute fight yeah. scene. It was just like, rah, 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 rah. oh, no, the best thing was his accident, the, yeah. his accident where he showed footage. Why did Batman have that? And why was it in HD? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they could pan was, and zoom on that a lot. It was like Blu-ray surveillance footage. Yeah, in 1997. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's an old school film camera. It <laughs> Surveillance camera. It, it films on actual film still, and that's why they could zoom crisp. and... Crisp. Yeah, it's very crisp. We use, we use Technicolor. <laughs> Black and white Technicolor. It's two colors. Yeah. I assume your nerd listeners will get that. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Probably. I didn't, but um, yeah, good job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so we have we have the bad girl storyline, which doesn't pan out really, except for that she gets a cool costume at the end and saves Robin. Uh, everybody gets a cool costume at the end. Oh, because yeah. the, Every, okay. but no, everybody gets a cool costume all the time. They they Yuma Thurman has like what seventeen 18 <laughs> costumes for three scenes. Yes. Um, <laughs> Yeah, again, Arnie is the only one with a consistent no. costume. Okay, he so always has one costume, and that's it. Uh, I want. <laughs> okay, I think I want to say one more thing. The whole like, if you watch the the beginning heist scene, yeah. the whole movie it, like, it was all. It was, yeah, I know. I know. We haven't actually made it to Poison Ivy yet, and she was the second character established. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> just in this scene everything was working off the premise that if you freeze something it just breaks for some reason yes like it just shatters into yeah. a million pieces until Robin gets frozen and then the solution is oh he's probably still alive oh yeah let's just throw him into water and then use a bat laser that's so hot it turns all the water yeah. red yeah. and thaw him out yeah like not like warm up the water yeah. and like ease him into it let's just and we, we didn't even say the most ridiculous part about that thing how Robin got there because they went into space. Oh, paraglided on yeah. so the, shields. This was the capsule down. that went up into the air. Yeah. That the, we were saying, like, what was the reason? And it, like, because at one point Schwarzenegger was like, sorry, Fritze was like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, Dr. Ah, Fritze, at eighty thousand feet, it will be so cold yeah. that your blood will, yeah, no, it, it will heart. freeze your heart and it will beat no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so he goes up there. Look, you remember his yeah. lines. And he's been, he's been freezing like everything and it's been shattering. Yeah. And then he just sprays Batman for like a good 15 seconds with yeah. this gun. And when the, the all the stuff clears, yeah. Batman just has two ices over his wrist. wrist just his wrist. Yeah. And he's like, oh, come on, let me out, man. Yeah. And he's like, no. He's like, but if this capsule falls, it'll kill thousands of people. And if like, the capsule just lands on the ground. Yeah. And he's like, I don't care. He's like, oh, tough bananas. Yeah. And he goes, <laughs> And he jumps out. <laughs> that would be totally something that he would say in this movie. <laughs> Tom Fernandes. And then he jumps out of the thing at like 70,000 feet because they haven't reached their final yeah. destination. And then just pops out these hummingbird wings. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, his, his suit is magnificent. Yeah, like it's like it's got these wings and they're made of metal. And imagine like a wingspan that's not like fingertip to fingertip. But yeah. like if you like do chicken wings, like a yeah. chicken dance, yeah. and you extend your elbows, they go about that far out. Well, any length, but yes. Arnie arm, arm length. No, uh, Arnie's elbow. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, oh, yeah. it's not, my, not your body. It's yeah. proportionate. <laughs> He's wrong. They're proportionate <laughs> tiny <laughs> wings. Yeah. He looks like a cherub. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay, that would be a movie I would watch. I'm your cherub. <laughs> Prepare to be loved. There's like a, a round body with a very strong jawline. Yes. <laughs> I know a thing or two about, about love. I made love to a maid once. So, all that, I'm sure they made love with the maid. Because yeah. uh, you can only conceive if you're in, if it's lovemaking. Yeah. If the souls touch, that's where babies come from, when souls touch. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. So, they're going up in the space, and Arnold does that. He jumps out. But fortunately, while they're going up to 80,000 feet, yeah. Robin's just been suction cup, cupping the himself outside. Up, up the outside of it. On, Gets, a, yeah. on, a, on a rocket that goes into the stratosphere. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 I don't see what your point is. Yeah, but so he goes. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that Robin could crush Bane probably with yeah. that upper arm body strength. Yeah. So like, yeah, again, so because it's also like it's going so fast. You're fighting all that forward momentum. Yeah. To, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, but fortunately, once you get to the stratosphere, there's not as much friction because there's no uh, more yes. atoms yeah, or yeah. oxygen. Uh, once you cross the ozone, Same you're thing. pretty much set. Yeah. Um, and then he gets in there, and Batman's like, "What are you doing here?" Like, yeah. he's such a dick. <laughs> He's like, how about thanks? Uh, let's yeah. save me. He's like, also, oh, he has this convenient laser pistol, warm up laser pistol with yeah. him that they use several times in this movie. Yeah. So he, he, he melts the ice on Batman's wrists. Yeah. And then they just grab pieces of metal and just silver surfer their way down to the earth. Yep. They just jump out. And they're like, Wee! And ride them like surfboards. Yep. And they're just going. And Batman somehow, like, they, have, they do not account. I would for have, terminal velocity I would at all. Have, I, would have, I would have massive respect for this movie when they just would fall down and just like a... Die? Scene. Credits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, die. And then it's all about Alfred mourning the death, but also like, 
Oh, they were two really stupid idiots. It's, about, <laughs> it's just about Alfred going through chemo yes. because he, <laughs> yes, would be way but, better. The thing is, so they're they're like riding these pieces of metal like surfboards, like that yeah. gives you control when you're in the free fall. Yeah, and Batman somehow manages to catch the guy who fell like a minute before them. Yeah, grabs him by the back, and then meanwhile Robin's going out of his way to catch this. Diamond. Grapefruit sized diamond that was stolen. <laughs> Still, and, and then it wasn't crazy, until the moment he catches diamond. it that he realizes, oh yeah, the ground's coming. Like, and, yeah. then, and then gets scared. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, uses the, the. Battering? The grappling hook? No, t- first he slides down the, the, the rooftop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which I'm like, already, I'm like, yeah, okay. All right, we are really now in comic book territory here. Yeah. Finally. Because. Going in a rocket still kind of makes sense if you have unlimited energy from. They that, were almost high diamond. enough that if they jumped out of the thing, they just wouldn't have gone down. <laughs> <laughs> just floating into space, and they're like, Ugh. and that's it. And uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, and you you and up there is George Clooney from Gravity looking down to <laughs> Batman Gravity. <laughs> Like they they meet in the in the middle and like oh, we both made bad choices fist pump and then they float. Pop no, he just face. like hits the air tank and fucking forces Batman <laughs> back to the earth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be would be would have been a cool cool callback in Gravity. Oh, okay, in Gravity. Yeah, yeah. I thought it might be a cool callback in this movie. I'm like, that's <laughs> not how callbacks work. <laughs> yeah, front back. That, w- that would have been a brick. That would have been call a brick that just didn't pay off for yeah. twenty years. Call fronts. Uh, <laughs> Not a word. <laughs> Not a word. Yeah, no. All right, so... The Poison <laughs> Ivy. After this amazing thing happened, we have... Oh, yeah, shit. We, Poison yeah. Ivy and Bane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And if you... Like, we if are you, 40 if, minutes in. Yeah, if you... If <laughs> we you, just got the Poison Ivy. If you, if you have this... If, if you have this movie... Um, if you watch this movie for the first time and you're like, oh, shit, Arnie plays Mr. Freeze and this is already horrible... No, 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 no. Yuma Thurman as Poison Ivy is way worse. First off, his name is like, Victor Fritze. Because... <laughs> and he must only be referred to Dr. as... Dr. Victor Fritze. Yeah. <laughs> no, the thing that I don't get is how how they could fuck up Yuma Thurman so much. Because she's a talented actress and somehow Her she is, is perfectly cast as, as Poison Ivy, I think. She has the physique to represent the comic book sure, she, the writing was so bad oh yes yes and her origin story is she works in a secret Wayne sponsored laboratory to save plants I think where you're, like, you're looking at it and you're like where the fuck are they at like yeah. what is this place yeah it's like Bolivia or something and in the she's been of the jungle. doing plant research yeah and her they colleague used, uses that to make quote unquote venom yeah that makes Bane yeah but whenever she gets also, we are introduced now to the concept of the, what was it? Wait, I have I've written it down. The ununited states, uh, nations. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the ununited nations. Sorry. Just the, in all fairness, it's still the UN. I'm almost yeah. convinced. I've, <laughs> if you watch any like like transcripts from a UN meeting, yeah. I'm not sure that it's not that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they 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 try to buy weaponized people apparently the oh is that what Bane was there nations. for yeah he he was he said he's the ultimate uh, killing machine I, I, I mean like I just kind of like I was like okay Bane's coming out. I, I mean yeah. it's, okay, do the, I need logic the at this point the professor had a lot to say about that about Bane and how cool yeah, he, he is. had a lot of ex, expository writing yeah like, is that the right word Ex- expositional e- expositional writing yeah, yeah. and uh, I'm so happy that he already died. Like, if they kept him around as, like, the sidekick to Uma Thurman, I w- would have hated this no, movie like, even because, more. Because Uma Thurman has to be, the, you know, like she has to have her sidekick be Bane. Yes. Because how else are you going to market those toys? Also, <laughs> the funny thing is, in the comic books, Bane is a super intelligent uh, master. I remember master hearing that, yeah. Which like, is more akin to, like, Dark Knight Rises. Yes, exactly, yeah. yeah. From a character standpoint, the Dark Knight Rises captures Bane better from a look perspective this one does yeah. even though the green venom shit doesn't, didn't really like no, he looks he just, just buff he yeah. just looked buff in the comic books 
without the green stuff. But yeah. in this case, they also got like the buffest dude, like like Arnie. If he didn't stop, he doing looked like steroids. a mountain, the mountain from Game of Thrones. Right. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Again, well, on a lot of anabolica. Well, that guy's huge. Yeah. That guy's Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you know what that guy looks like, but he's fucking. He's yeah. been in, he's been in a suit of armor for the past season, but he's yeah, yeah. fucking huge. Yeah. Yeah. And it, well, it's the third who plays the mountain, so. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they replaced him the, twice. Yeah, the, the newest guy. Yeah. The yeah. newest guy. He, the Icelandic yeah. guy. And, and he's like 25 or something. Right. You don't look like that in your 30s or 40s. Like, that's... Yeah. That doesn't... That's not a, <laughs> that's not a lasting look. Yeah. <laughs> it would be funny to see him, like, in his 50s, and he's still so jacked, but he oh. has wrinkles everywhere. <laughs> oh. That would upset me. That would upset me. Like his flab's just there, but if you just pinch it back... Yeah, you get the abs. Like just close pins, and it's just... <laughs> Doctor, you have to take away, like, five, four kilograms. I don't even know what an Icelandic accent should be. Yeah. Um, Way to be racist, man. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, many don't chances. worry, I am Austrian. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. <laughs> they will give me a gold star. All right, so we so Poison Ivy confronts the doctor after she witnesses his cru, cru, gruesome experiment on, on on Bane, and he she is like the biggest SJW in the world. He's before like before they existed. Yeah, before they existed. And the predecessor. Yeah, like she is what the alt right hates. Like that's where the alt right came from. Yeah, it's just poison ivy. Yeah, because she was like, no, my beloved plants, and they're like, yeah. well, people will die. And yeah. she's like, it's a, it's just a, a, a casualty yeah. in the war for Mother Earth. Yeah. Fucking Everything weirdo. else has to burn. Nothing, my way or the yeah. no way. And basically, she gets like she sees that. Her experiments have been used to make this venom that turns uh, a skinny white which is skinhead. A, which is it, not a bad uh, reason to hate somebody. Sure, sure. But, like, hold on. Yeah. That's not the point. The point is that she sees this pasty white skinhead yeah. get in, in, like injected with this, this venom. Yeah. His name is Antonio. Yeah. <laughs> And he gets engorged with this, and she's like, "Oh no, that's you're you're misusing my po- uh, my 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 research, and you're making this venom out of it, which venom is now you know making this dude yoked." And she gets in a fight with the the evil doctor weirdo. Thank you for the wine. Sure. Um, and as a result, like in a scuffle, where he gets really rapey for a second, like kind of like, oh, corners yeah. her, and it looks like he's gonna caress her yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah. And then he pushes her into just a. a a table full of beakers and snakes snakes yeah and it just like all the chemicals mix on the ground and then he's like that's right melt into your grave yeah and, <laughs> and then she like everything dissolves and the snakes crawl over her and then she rises back up and she's like now my blood is made of aloe and she also now oh, that, inexplicably that, 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 has a british a accent in, there's a scene in between okay but yes, I don't, I don't remember that scene anymore. Yeah, she, but good, she, good interruption then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. that, like that even that even makes this weird origin story even worse because it's not like she gets up right after that and it's like, yes. Yeah. But there's this weird change happening and she knows every about her powers exactly. And she knows what her body like what her yeah. what her here's the thing. No organism just intuitively knows what it's composed of. Yeah. You know how much science like had to be we, developed yeah. over centuries for us to yes. realize that blood is inside of us? Yes. And, and like blood, blood is in veins. Yeah, and what blood is made yeah. of and everything. She's like, my blood is replaced with aloe. My skin has been replaced with chlorophyll. Also, well, no. No, no. she's not green. So um, Yeah, and just chlorophyll so, is a bad idea. You should have cells at least. Well, chlorophyll know? is inside of cells. Yeah. But she said my skin was replaced sure, by sure. chlorophyll. Sure, which is sure. Even my point worse. is, so I guess we have established. No, yeah. she doesn't know what's inside of her body. Yeah. But she does know the last thing because she says, "In my my lips, yeah, with venom, yeah." And then it kills him. But it doesn't kill him until after she says venom, and then it's like, oh, and now it's activated. Yeah, she's like, oh, but venom? also, okay, it's a weird thing because yeah. they just called venom the thing that makes bane, but it's also the thing that kills you. Yeah, like it's yeah. And uh, yeah, so then Come she up and because of that, like, she kills that guy. And she's like, "Oh my God, this this fighting machine is an abomination, mm-hmm. and it's a it's a bastardization of of my research." Yeah, 
but I'm gonna use him as my sidekick. Yeah, 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 <laughs> totally fine. Get him a cool fedora. Yeah. So the next thing we see her in, she's in the back of a, because like now her hair is red. Yeah. And now she's in the back of a, a and car. And she's not on. And she's that. putting on a wig. Also, she she's stopped put, using the British accent she, in the middle of the movie. Like a few scenes, she just she, spoke yeah, with she her just like, like Madonna just like started using a fake British accent for like half the movie to sound more regal. And yeah. the next thing we see her, and she's putting on a wig that doesn't look all that much different than her hair used to look, but different enough to where it's not really excusable. And like, it's like, what? Nobody knows that your hair is red. Yeah. Like, it's not good. Like, nobody knows nobody who you has are. Facebook. No, nobody knows that Poison Ivy is a villain. Yeah. You just were born. So you yeah. don't have to disguise yourself yet. Yeah, you can villain around as much as you want. Yeah, you don't need a disguise. But yeah. she's committed to being disguised. And then it pulls back the camera. Yeah. And she's so committed to a disguise that she made Bane put on a trench coat and a fedora <laughs> without first asking him to remove his luchador mask. Yeah. <laughs> and have him have him drive her around. So there's a, a, a Mexican wrestler <laughs> with a fedora. <laughs> It is one of the funniest things in this movie. Well, that does seem kind of odd, but that girl doesn't have red hair, so I guess it's all legit. <laughs> yeah. And then she goes to talk to Bruce no, no, Wayne. No, 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 people in the US would just say, Tss, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, like, then she goes to go to Wayne Enterprises because she's breaking beakers, and she see, like, when she's about to throw one down, she did what you always do when you're about to break something. You examine it yeah. and look for a logo, yeah. and you're like, oh... That's Wayne like, Enterprises. Wayne Enterprises. Also, why I, didn't she know that her research was sponsored by I, Wayne Enterprises? Because she's not a very good employee. I don't know. Yeah, she's a bad. She's a bad scientist. Like that. That lab. Every from the every scientist in this movie was a bad scientist. You yeah. have Dr. Freitzer. You have her. <laughs> you have those two of the bitches that got Technically frozen. Technically, Alfred, who, <laughs> because he made an AI version of himself. <laughs> The, mm -hmm. Yeah, he uploaded himself to the bad computer. And he was good enough to upload... I mean, this... You really... If you haven't seen the movie, you yeah. gotta watch it because this is not coherent at all at oh, this point. Oh, no, 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 no. But... Watch the movie. We're jumping around a lot. I That's mean, I, my recommend right now I mean, watch the movie. Like last time, I don't recommend you watch the movie because, <laughs> again, it's infuriating. <laughs> um, but in order to make sense, you're gonna yeah. have to watch the movie. Make it, make it a drinking game. But the thing is, he was able to program... Like, okay... So his granddaughter, who came to visit him from England, with her American accent, yeah, snuck in to the Batcave because she was sitting on Alfred's computer and trying yeah. to figure out his password. First password she tries, Alfred. Well, yeah. that didn't work. Next password she tries, Wayne. Yeah. Like, she just tries all this random shit. And yeah. then finally she looks at a picture that's right next to the computer, and she sees it says "Love Peg." So she types in her three-letter password yeah, yeah, of yeah. Peg, and that's it. But bing, bing, bing. Yeah. Access allowed. Wow. Yeah, and it was this, granted. And, and, access allowed. It also allowed. wasn't like a like a monotone computer like access granted. It was access allowed. Yeah. Like, like as if it's been like, oh, you finally yeah. got it. Yeah, you can come in, please. And finally, so like all. She gets in there, and immediately, I don't know what program is going on on this computer, because as soon as it happens, you just see, like, a Da Vinci-esque, like, at no flash. Point, every time you see computers, you have no idea what these computers do. Fair. Yeah. Those because, computers are stupid well, to, to a well, degree like, where... The moment she just logs in, there's this, like... PowerPoint presentation, oh, yes. like a flash of like, like a Da Vinci like the, yeah. analysis, analysis of a man, and like, yeah. and then it just ends with a Batman and Robin logo in red and glowing she, on her face, and she creepily smiles at the screen, <laughs> and she sees that, and now she just knows how to get into the Batcave. Yeah, she goes down there. There are a bunch of Mission Impossible lasers going around for no reason apparently, because yeah. there are some blue ones, and like, there's like several, like. Uh, barriers, planes basically. of like three above stacked yeah, above each other. Like a barrier, of blue, yeah. and then there's one of red. Yeah. The blue ones go through her, no problem. Another blue one goes through her, no problem. The red ones go through her, intruder, alert. intruder alert. Yeah. And it's it's a program of Alfred that's going intruder alert, intruder alert, yeah. intruder alert. But it's like skipping like a yeah. record. And she runs over. She's like, oh, Grandpa Alfred or Uncle or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Like, Alfred, well, it's me. And yeah. He, 
and like Barbara, like, like it's a person, yes. like like he, like he's just gonna be like, oh, I. Well, the thing is, he does because he's like, ah, Barbara, I expected you to sneak down here, <laughs> and uh, then he in just preparation. I made you a suit. I made you a Batgirl suit <laughs> and a bat bike <laughs> and a bat bike. Yeah. Like he was like, I have a feeling my my sneaky granddaughter or niece or whatever yeah. she is. Like, first off, he was surprised that she was there. Yeah. He said, how on earth did you get here all the way from England? <laughs> how on earth? <laughs> this man creates ice skate click boots for Batman and Robin. <laughs> but doesn't know but how, doesn't know how basic plane works. Yeah, it's like, how maybe, on earth? <laughs> maybe, maybe the last time he was there was during the Second World War, and he's like... How on earth I got there by ship the last time, and like, it was war. So he's shocked she's even there. Yeah. But the moment she Wait, gets British, there... British, he would be on, on British. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> fuck this movie. <laughs> so he's shocked that she's even there, but the moment he get, she gets there, she also... She's an adult. And yeah. And she managed, she managed to independently... She? I don't know, but she managed because to independ... She's in university. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Well, she so got kicked out of least, university. So at least 18. Yeah. And she's like, and she managed to independently fly a co- intercontinentally. Yeah, right, yes. And surprise so, him. So not a kid. Not a kid. Okay, she kind of handled made, herself. Oh, but then she has to say, good night, Alfred, and then goes up to her room and immediately ties a bunch of sheets together, yes. throws them out a mansion window so she can sneak down and steal a also, bike. Also, she, she can't just be like, own, hey. She, she had her own helmet with her. So that was her plan from the beginning. Yeah, so she can't just be like, hey, see you later, Alfred, I'm going to go out. Yeah. Like, and he's going, like, oh, but but Barbara, you're not ready for that. I lived in a different continent. I think I'm good. Yeah. Like, that couldn't happen. So it's all this stuff. Like, and he immediately realized, she's probably going to figure out my peg password. Yeah. <laughs> and instead of just making his password, you know, a little bit harder, where you don't yes. just see it while you're sitting at the computer, and maybe yeah. a few more letters than... Yes. than yes. Tag 64. Than, than three letters. Yeah. And also, maybe not the name of a woman you love. Like maybe yeah. maybe not that yeah maybe not. maybe like just like Q R X D double bat yeah. I don't know like let me put yeah. a question mark in Batman it. sucks yeah. even that would be better like anything yeah. and then, instead of doing all that he's like you know what I'll just make her a bat suit so that my uh, only remaining relative can get herself killed yeah yeah oh we also have a a, a Batman love story storyline going on with uh with um. I don't know. Pink, pink suit. Yeah, pink suit. Yeah, let's just call her pink suit. Not really a she love never story. Got, she never. <laughs> well, they were dating for a whole year. They were dating for a year, and she's. What? They're just. By the way. Yeah, for a fucking <laughs> year, she didn't realize he was Batman. Yeah, first of all, that. Second of all. So they. And they're just they now having this conversation. Been for a year. Ha- haven't had that conversation yet. And also, she's totally fine with with his rejection, and he's like, "Don't just think about it." I mean, it was she's it was, a gold digger. She legit was like, "So we've been dating for like they're eating dinner. Yeah. We've been dating for a year. So like, I was thinking maybe we should settle down." Yeah, I t- you know I'm not the marrying type. Okay, yeah. never see her again in the movie. <laughs> you just never see her again. <laughs> <laughs> Poor pink lady. Poor pink lady, she was totally unnecessary. Oh, and the 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 oh uh yeah no there there was so much crap going on. But do we have so we have the Bane storyline which was freeze the whole earth. Then we have Humor Farm and storyline save the earth from humanity. Then we have Batman and Robin being antagonistical dickheads to each other. Yeah. Then we have the Alfred is sick story, and then we have the Poison Ivy coming in and pheromone, which contributes to them being dicks to each other. She has yeah. this pheromone powder, she blows in their face, makes everybody want to fuck her. Yeah. Which is very unfortunate because when she kisses them, they, they die. die. Yeah. And uh, that makes, you know, that makes everybody like very enchanted by her. Oh, that's part of the reason yeah. that the romance thing fell apart is because every time he was kissing uh, his girlfriend, who looked a lot like Victor Freeze's wife. Uh, he would just imagine Poison Ivy. Just generic 90s hot girl. And he called her Ivy at one point because he was like, yes. l- like hallucinating imagining her. Yeah. And she said, you just called me Ivy. Who's Ivy? Yeah. And he said, I wish I knew. <laughs> Which is the weirdest response. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah. No. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, we have, yeah, so we have her illegal street race as bad girls, barbarous 
illegal street racing. This is a very convoluted movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's for such like, a simple movie. For so, for as ridiculous as it is, they did. There was it was quite intricate. Yeah, for yeah. how garbage it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, they had to fill those two hours. It was like hours Rococo with dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That, uh, they, they're gonna make that movie next year, <laughs> starring Bill Murray as the dog. From dog shit. Okay. Cinematography. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I think we're done with with plot. I, don't I mean, know. like I think we've touched on all the points without really putting it in a coherent order. Yeah, because there is no coherent. But order. I mean, basically, I think it, to sum it all up, coherent. Yeah. Or Whatever. coherent also yeah. works. But um, basically, I would also accept that. It there's a bank heist. They yeah. find out who Mister Freeze is. Somewhere off, somewhere else, Poison Ivy becomes a thing, and she teams up with Bane. Yeah. And then she also decides to come after Bruce Wayne because of Wayne and Enterprises. From after Wayne rejects her plans of totally getting rid of everything, humans, of humans, of yeah, everything. Oh, and the police come up to her and they're like, "We're gonna escort you out." She's like, "Don't touch me. I've yeah. got this." And then she just starts monologuing to herself yeah. <laughs> in this really crazy way. And I'm like, "How? What fucking? You want to say there's not white female privilege?" If, if you can just fucking maniacally rant to yourself about yeah. the destruction of the human race and the in police are like filled room. Yeah. And the police are like, All right, we'll let you go. Yeah. yeah we don't have to fact. we don't have to escort you out. You'll figure it out. <laughs> so like eighty years prior to that she would be locked up in a, a same as a, asylum like this. Mm -hmm. And then so like she comes after Bruce Wayne's uh stuff for other reasons and I guess somehow yeah. in that she comes in contact with uh Mr. Free Doc Dr. Freitze. Yeah, Dr. And Freitze. I, I, I don't remember if like they actually like, tried to rob the same thing, but they did come in contact with each other. Yes. And then Team up. Freitze was put in jail at one point because yeah. Batman headbutted him. Uh, like a Boot flying headbutted him. him or something. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. He flew it didn't really boot. show what happened. Yeah, it was very anticlimactic. Yeah, yeah the, they didn't show that fight. I was actually bummed. There because wasn't a fight. It was just Batman landed in his windshield. Yeah. And they're like, oh, now but I'm bringing you to jail. But he dragged him out of the thing. Dragged him out of the thing, covered him with his cape again. Yeah. Just so he could unveil it and yeah. say, I'm taking you to jail. <laughs> so he goes to jail and then oh, man. Ivy comes and says that she's his sister to break him out and then says, let's team up. Yeah. Then she tries to, un to kill his wife and unplugs it and then Batman just knew to fix that. And repair her because yeah. at the also, end, fucking yeah, Deus Ex right, Machina they're, 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 they're of just like, like two or three characters were thought, oh, they're dead now, and they still like, no, they're fine. Well, like, it was like Alfred, Alfred, I thought Alfred was dead for sure after they introduced the fucking AI Alfred, and I'm like, yeah, that's the replacement, right, for him, and Alfred is just a goner now, and that's how we get that thing. Mm. Nope, he gets magical Mr. Freeze juice. That they put in his bag, no ask, question asked, not even an <laughs> analyzing. Take two and call me tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Also, how did he know? Well, here's the thing. Uh, exactly. How did you know what it is? How do you know what that's the cure to? No, et cetera, et Also, et cetera. yeah, yeah. How did how you know that Alfred, Alfred was is even sick? sick? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of questions that weren't answered. It, like, it was just For a bunch, movie, it was a bunch of deus ex machinas yeah. at the end of this. Oh, yes. Where it was, so many. Like, Batman. Grappling like, hooks being the number one. Right. But the <laughs> point is, to, 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 so that we can, just to get through this, yeah. to finish the outline real quick, because I do like a go on forever on yeah. this. Um, <laughs> so I she teams up with him, that. but then tries to kill his wife and then blames Batman for it so that he will get mad. Dr. Free, Dr. Freitze uh, goes up to the Wayne telescope that Wayne, Bruce Wayne made a telescope mm -hmm. that can see anywhere on the planet. Yeah. The way it does that is uses a telescope that they put on the top of a statue in the middle of a light polluted city. Yeah. And it majorly it, light polluted, and apparently they it, they, ha they must neon have, light polluted. They, 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 this is so gothic the setting, like there has to be smog every day in yeah. this fucking city. Yeah. Also, the density of those buildings, holy fucking god! Who, what yeah. city builder is like? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna put statues everywhere, but also skyscrapers and, and also bridges and yeah. roadways that are on the seventeenth story, yes. which is that much closer to the ozone layer. <laughs> 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 that's how we get rid of the humans. <laughs> so, yeah, so like all all this stuff, and then like oh. so the, the the telescope, how it works is it shoots up to a series of military satellites yeah. that are just mirrors, yeah, and then it points there, and that reflects it, bounces around a few times, boing boing boing, and then you can be like, I want to look at Africa, and it just points all the mirrors at Africa, so that you can that? get. A 
That's how it seems. I, it, to me, because he said like, don't the, point it at my bedroom. At one point in the graph, computer graphic, it showed like a constellation of stars on the far side of the Earth, and that was like the idea that they had twenty four hour surveillance of the stars around them. He, that's no, what that's he said. What, it, he in said one of the graphics it showed that he yeah, said what he it said, can fit and it can yes. look at any place on the earth. Yes, and what his he joke said. was sure, sure. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. He look, I'm not saying it know, makes sense. He doesn't even know how his own telescope works. He's not a scientist. He's a billionaire yeah, who spends I, all his time fucking dick swinging with Robin. <laughs> All right. Like, yeah. oh yeah, right. That's that's where also one of the rivalries comes from. Apparently, Batman still gets laid for a whole year with with Pink Lady, and Robin doesn't. Does does Batman disapprove that he has a girlfriend or? Want, I don't know. I want him as my own personal power button. That's that's how I do it. I'm George Clooney. I'm fucking this kid know. now. The point is just <laughs> that's not how telescopes work. Yes. You can't point at a dark planet and just see because there are a bunch of mirrors in yep. space. So, but the thing is, what you also can't do is take that same telescope and just freeze it. Yeah. And now it's an ice gun that can freeze the well, entire he, city. Well, okay. To be fair, he had a cool. Big attachment with oh, all to be, those. To be fair, he made a pun when he did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he. That was the the the, the, the sure. MacGuffin that he. Sure, but it doesn't really. No, 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 no nothing in this movie really deserves an, an honest explanation of why it would work. Right. So anyway, they, they have this big fight. The city's frozen. Yeah. Uh, they're fighting Mr. Freeze. They're fighting Poison Ivy. At one point, uh, Robin comes in to talk to Poison Ivy, and she's like in this Venus flytrap, mm-hmm. just waiting. In the Turkish bath. Yeah. And just, That's her layer just, for some reason. <laughs> She's just waiting for him, and as yeah. soon as he enters, it blooms, and she's like, oh, hello, I'm sexy. Yeah. And and then she's like, he's like, what's your plan? She's like, kiss me, and I'll tell you. He's like, yeah. tell me, and I'll kiss you. And then she just tells her entire also, plan. What is this? what is this sexy dialogue? Well, I think because it was supposed to be sexy. Sure. And she, so she tells her entire plan. She's like, how about that kiss? Yeah. She kisses him, and she's like, now die. You're going to die. And he's like, here's the trick. Rubber lips are immune to your thing, and he peels uh, off the rubber lips. I and he's like, he's like two inches from her yeah. mouth. She could just be like, and yeah. then he's dead. <laughs> yeah. like, that's like if somebody shoots you in the chest and like, how are you still alive? You unzip your shirt, take off your bulletproof vest, still, wave it in their face, and say, still, I had a bulletproof vest. When he Mike still ha- holds the gun. Yeah. Right, exactly. And then, but he ends up kicking her back into this plant, and it closes again. And apparently, this time she's dead now. No, like, and she still shows oh, up. Oh, she's not again. dead because yeah, but like yeah, because Mr. Freeze still right. has to have she, a, no. His so come you're right. The plant closes, and now she's in jail. Okay, so the, the that's third the, person that tr- apparently dies but didn't die. Yeah, but like it's just like I guess it's like when it closes a second time. Jail. Yeah. So, and <laughs> then Victor Freyta Victor Freyta is like, "Fuck you, Batman! Ah, oh, you killed my wife!" And Batman, with he's just dead inside. He's just like, "I didn't kill your wife. Your wife's still alive. I fixed her. I repaired her. You're welcome." Uh, well, she's not. She's there. waiting for you. Yeah. She's there. She's not better, but like. You she's alive and she's waiting research. for you to find the cure you do the research and that's what people do and that's why he and gets it's stuck a, it's a big in life lesson. with poison ivy to develop an anti well he had to go to jail because he's a bad guy but the thing yeah, is like I don't know look I don't know I don't know I just know that he's a bad guy so he said look I saved your wife yeah. but like she's waiting for your research and because of that, Victor Freitzer was like, here, take two. He just, like, opened his suit. Yeah, and the, Which is an ice suit. The yeah. suit just makes things really cold. He yes. opens this little thing on his arm like a Kim Possible fucking translator. <laughs> and then he... And That's he, a nice, <laughs> nice reference right there. He Kim pulls Possible. out two little vials like he's been drawing his own frozen blood. Yeah. And says... Take two and call me in the morning. <laughs> and they just go straight to Alfred's bedside, put it in an IV drip. Yeah. This shit is glowing like a reflective pool in a fairy fountain. Like there's like like Everything. shimmery blue yeah. everywhere. And they're like, we Actually, should inject this into his veins. Honestly, I would like to drink that. Like it looked like a really hip drink. You don't know how it tastes or its effects or what it is, but I'm glad you're so willing to put strange things in your mouth. No, no, that's <laughs> no, that's not that's not what I meant. I just meant if it was a cocktail, it was served in a bar, and it why would like it be this. a cocktail? 
I don't know. Nothing about the context made it seem like it might be a no, cocktail. No, no, not in this reality. Like, just the, 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 the color. You literally the might glow. as well have said, like, oh, man, but I'll tell you, I would really like to fuck a girl with that. Like, if it were a dildo, like, I would definitely fuck a girl with that. I mean, it's not. But, like, if it were, yeah, it I would. Yeah. It would. And yeah. I would definitely wear those when I played basketball. I mean, like, if they were shoes, I would definitely. They're not shoes. But, like, if they were, I would wear them. <laughs> <laughs> they're, too, they're both liquids. So is cyanide. <laughs> is it? So is urine. I believe so. Cyanide I think it can be. Oh, well, I think it might be a powder, but you can, can make it. be a liquid. And yeah. like Arnie says, everything freezes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only truth in this universe. <laughs> and I'm like, have you ever seen the sun? <laughs> Try to freeze that asshole. Because even if a sun collapses, it doesn't freeze. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> or was it was it more an allegory about uh, uh, It's uh, like a liquid nitrogen Nietzsche? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's philosophizing philosophizing the, the whole time. Also not a word. But <laughs> Philosophy. Yes, Paul. Yeah. All right. But yeah, it ends with it ends with they put both them in jail yeah. and like Poison Ivy's just sitting there like a crazy person picking a fake flower. That she's also eating. Yeah, and then like all of a sudden out of the Whatever. darkness. Wait, Mr. Freeze's suit Why lights up. Why is she in that plant? Because she's weird. No, I mean hip- yes, but she's the because none of her motivations make sense. Yeah, that's true. Because she teamed up with a guy who planned to freeze thing all she life. She should eat at this point is humans. Because if she is so anti-human... No, she, should just, she should just thrive off the sun. She's a plant. Oh, yes. Yeah, the chlorophyll. I don't right. think you know how plants work. <laughs> oh, is she a plant? She's a plant. They eat humans. <laughs> That's all they can eat. It's a flesh She eating plants. I mean, she's like... She's replaced with plant stuff. She's a Mother Nature thing. She has yeah. chlorophyll. Like, yeah. photosynthesis is the natural... Right. Yeah. Also, then, in that case, it doesn't make sense either because she's... Cannibalism. <laughs> She's a, That's how you know oh, she's a villain. Oh, she doesn't give a fuck. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. murder this salad now. <laughs> like she slices. She's like a queen, mind. like a queen bee. When there are two queen bees born, like they just yeah. fight each other to the death. She's yeah. just killing flowers. Like fuck you. There can only be one. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, and yes. like, it pretty much just ended like that, and then I guess Batgirl became their partner now. Yes, and, and we have a cool. And running. Robin got to be the one who decided that. Yes. like first, and Batman was like, "Okay, I guess I'll allow it." Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was um, pretty bad. Yeah, plot was um, how amazingly, how was, um, amazingly bad. It was. Yeah. it was pretty terrible. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to something else really terrible, and that is so, ah, Jesus. It wasn't terrible. Like, Fuck I know, those Dutch angles. Dude, I mean, like, look, it was decadent. Everything was crooked in it, this movie. Was Everything was crooked. Like, I got seasick no, watching this movie. That's because, how, with how campy this movie was, how can they make it straight? Yeah. <laughs> it had to be queer. I get it, yeah. Oh, jeez. No, I mean, like, they. it was just superfluous. Yes. It, that, you... Superfluous, you know the word? I'm sorry, I was yeah. not trying to be condescending, it's just no, no, the word. No, no. Yeah, it, it's a thing where, like, it's just everything was so, like, let's make it unnecessarily, just pack everything, like, yeah. du- some Dutch angles, let's do a lot of colors, there were so yeah. many colors. Oh, yes. Was, and not, no, even, not even normal colors, it, you had glow-up colors, you had neon colors. It was everything you, you would expect to colors. see in a gay nightclub. Oh, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes, I've seen those colors, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Like what during Pride Week in I'm, Vancouver? Imagine a I've rainbow definitely... flag and a dark light. <laughs> yes, that's this movie. That's the color scheme of this movie. Except for the flashbacks that Bruce has. But really, everything inside the mansion is just like overly saturated, warm colors. Yes, but like, I think but like super saturated. This, yeah, I think it's this warm, fuzzy. We are safe in at home yeah, but feeling. It was, but it, it's I, it's too much. It was just so. It's too much. It, was, it looks like it was a all tacky. Bad soap. It was very tacky. It looks like a bad soap. It looked like it was trying to be artsy in the contrast, but it wasn't subtle enough to do that, and oh, it wasn't no. also wasn't the type of movie to do that. I think this was like a first year 
a grad cinematographer who failed his classes. I think it's a final project. You have to show everything you learned yeah. this year. <laughs> yeah, and just throw everything in there. Look at all. We those don't studies. care if the movie's actually good. Just show us what you've learned. And those zoom and pan shots when they were putting on the the suits with the ass. Oh, with the ass. The with the bulge. With the hard nipples. Here's Damn. the thing. In the I first, I was more upset about the bulge than the nipples. Here's actually. my thing. I thought it was so funny that the suit had nipples, but they were like hard nipples and a big bulge, which makes me think like he had both. He was both cold but it's also a, hot at the same time. Because oh, he suit. like like the bulge looked like he had a little bat erection. <laughs> yes. So which means he has to be cold for the nipples His but hot for the dick. Batarang. He's like icy hot. Like yeah. he's human icy hot. Oh, isn't that the 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 Trojan, the Trojan one of the Trojan condoms? Oh no, icy hot is a is something you rub on sore muscles. Oh, okay. But I mean, like, there's yeah, a fire and ice Trojan condom. Yeah, thing. exactly. But yeah. It's, it's not the same feeling as icy hot. Yeah, but, icy but hot would be both, very but terrible. Both, but both of them are latex. <laughs> icy hot's not a icy hot's a cream. No, no, the the condom and Batman suit. I don't know. It looked like it was acrylic or some shit. Like that was hard plastic. <laughs> As. Not a normal rubber suit. No. Nope. No. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they, they, they even stopped with the face mask covering most of it up. <laughs> so you actually see his face most of the time, except you know, for it, like the, the here's thing, eye it's rings. A, it's a BDSM suit. suit. Yeah, it's a fetish suit. And the only spot where you can see skin is the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, Batman definitely goes down on some villains. <laughs> the Dark Knight goes down. <laughs> the Batman rises. And rises, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. With that bulge, definitely. You have some storage capacity. In it, has bulge. Our, it has our prison. <laughs> yeah, then, then we... What, what else? Oh, yeah, the... the ah, Just colorful, a lot of Dutch angles. Um, the digital effects, man. What did you think about them? Well, some of them were subtle enough to be good, and then you had Mr. Freeze you, Tears. You, okay, I'll say that you liked Bane like, becoming Bane. Yeah, because uh, that was a half CGI, half practical effect. It I was the that. same, if, for anyone who hasn't seen the movie, um, which I honestly think out of all the movies Paul's covered with his podcast, this is the most likely one you've been see, to see. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it was the most successful well, it's also just the probably the most like outside of Austria. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody knows Batman. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like the same technology they used in the Nutty Professor. Yeah, to make like him go from fat to or yeah. thin to or, fat. Yeah, or the, the from the bunny clumps, to the clumps. Clumps is number two. I yeah. don't know. I don't remember enough of it to know if he still did the back and forth thing like he did. I, it's been years. Yeah, but, but either way, Not like good it's, movies, anyways. The Nutty Professor is okay, I, but the the clumps oh, are bad. Sure. I do remember that when the dad shit his pants. That shit was funny. <laughs> that one joke is funny. Yeah. I was right. like six, but like I don't. Yeah. Ooh, Hercules! Hercules! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I have uh, a feeling that I would enjoy it yeah. to a degree, but I feel also like if we'd watch that tonight, I'd be bitching just as much. Mm -hmm. But so that was an interesting effect. Everything they did with ice looked terrible. Um, like with the ice oh, gun. Oh yeah, the ice, the ice beam. Gun beam was fucking awful. The, I thought that the frozen people look good. Okay, I mean, like I guess for the time, but yeah. like it looks, it looked weird. It looked, yeah, and it looked, it was over. They they put so much emphasis on like the shot of people like yeah. mid mid action. Yes, like jumping yeah. and then freezing, and they were very proud of that. They were very proud of yeah, that because they really put focus show, on to, it to show how powerful the cannon is because it can and stop a man mid 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 movement but I, I think it was also I think more important than showing off how, how good the cannon was yeah. it was showing off how good their technology was that they could make this weird shot it wasn't just like oh we just have a person sit still you're having them frozen in a way that nobody can just accidentally like or like pose yeah. I think that was kind of the thing but also the, the, the ice, they would put these weird spikes coming out of them all the time. Yeah. As if they were icicles, but there was nothing that the ice would actually be glomming onto to form yeah. ice in that way. Yeah. Uh, it was weird. It was weird, but it was fine. I mean, yeah. it's it was the 90s. It's yeah. whatever. And the, the the wines. I like the wine 
The vines that the poison ivy grew. Vines. <laughs> the vines. I don't understand why the Austrians vines. have a problem with V's turning them into W's. Yeah. Because you don't have W's <laughs> in your language. Like, it's an exact sound that you are used to vines. making for pretty much every goddamn yeah. word in your entire life. But you <laughs> see it in English, and you're like... No, I'm going to sound more English now. The wines. Uh, the wines? Uh, the wines were amazing. <laughs> this video had so many wines. <laughs> Motherfucker. It's not just you. It's Austrians yeah. in general, but it's yeah. I, I've never understood it. It's, yeah. Yeah, the same, same way that you can't pronounce certain shit in German. No, it's different, though, because if I can't do R, yeah, that's because right. it's a sound I've never had uh, to make. Yeah. But, like, V. Yeah. Is a yeah very common and wa doesn't exist and you're taking a sound that doesn't <laughs> it'd be like if I looked at like bang Köln yeah and I saw that o mm. with an umlaut yeah. and I was like Kram. <laughs> and did I get it right and it's like no why would you why would you why would, why would you where, where did that come from you're like I don't know yeah. it just sounded Russian to me right which is not a Russian word but okay. I fucked up <laughs> fine that's that's, that's no, all right it's just yeah, yeah. all right so. Um, Can we be done with cinematography? Yeah. I feel like there wasn't much uh, after that. It's just, it was gaudy. It was yeah. it was Elton John would have been the director. He was probably the it DP was, in this. It, it had a bit of a 90s music video, yes. Certain At certain times. With the overblown colors and the weird angles and, and everything. And the music. Like, seriously, Yuma Thurman scene where, well, where she sounds. was walking you're, you're, on. Wait, man, wait. Where she's you're walking. Skipping, you're skipping categories, man. You're going to go to music. For, for that. No, I just know from the look like a music video. It had the look of a music video. That's what I wanted to say. Like Maybe. I, I mean, maybe. I don't yeah. know. It was It was just, it was really gaudy. Oh, yeah. 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 Fuck cinematography. Um, let's move on to the next part, and that's... So... Oh, nice whale noise there at the end. I like it. Uh, so... So now you can talk about the music video that you were watching with him with Thurman. Yeah. She walks over... The lily pads? Seven or eight oh, men. Oh! Yeah. Well, that's another thing. She, like, just became a bad lady. Yeah. She sneaks in and does a burlesque that starts with her in a because giant... Because the botanical garden because opens the bo up? Yeah. Okay. Something. Yeah. yeah. And she poisons the whole audience. She poisons the whole audience, but she comes oh, sorry, in there. She goes She's there because Batman and Robin are special guests because it's a the 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 Wayne family jewels are being auctioned off. Yeah, and she wanted. No, to no, they they they. I know she they, wanted to steal the diamonds. Yes, that was her. Because that's gonna help save the planet. Yes. Um, somehow. And she comes in there. She starts a burlesque dance that starts with like a a white harambe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And she's just as a giant gorilla, Harambe, and so. just like yeah, she's it's yeah. a very progressive movie. Like I said, all <laughs> yeah. about SJWs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she takes off the hands, and she's like, oh, I got fingernails. And then she takes off all the rest of it, and she's like, I'm sexy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sexy as fuck. I don't. I can't, <laughs> wait, how do we do an English accent? She's like, oh, you, I'm sexy as fuck. I'm, so, I'm very sexy. I, I don't yeah. know. I don't have it. I don't I'm have it. bonkers sexy, mate. Yeah. No. <laughs> Would have been better than her British I'm, accent. I'm, I'm just gonna go home. Now. <laughs> but like she, she does this, and it turns into this huge musical number yeah. that involves like six guys, like jacked guys, oh, jacked, so jacked, oiled up guys in loincloths, <laughs> and they because they're part of the theme of the part. What was the theme? The jungle? The, I don't know. What was the? I don't know because the thing is. I don't think they were actually part of the Wayne Enterprises thing because I think she paid for them the same way Mr. Freeze had his goons with <laughs> hockey sticks because it was completely choreographed. Oh, they, yeah. they, they knew every move yes. she was going to do yes. in her impromptu burlesque session. Yeah. And they even at a certain point, they laid down like side by side like Amish dot and like <laughs> <laughs> and she just walked over them and they would get up and oh, one yeah. to the front of the line, lay back down so That's she cool. could use them like... To, it was, no. Stepping stones, like, I guess. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, like typical, like, like Amistad. And, <laughs> yeah, so they, they just had this musical number with Poison Ivy for no reason mm -hmm. in the middle of it. And yeah. then the rest of the music was like orchestral shit. Right. With these with these brief throwbacks. Techno music. I was going to say these brief throwbacks yeah. to the 1950s, like, oh. Bam! Oh yeah, no, yeah, it had the, those crazy noises. Yeah, like, like, like beam, the, like bam, 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 yeah. bam, bam. Yeah, yeah, those fighting noises. But they were like but, worked into the 
orchestral music at yes. times. Like it was still the orchestral music. Like yeah. Same instruments. And then you had the, the bike riding scene where they used this weird techno music instead of using LL Cool J. And then they got the Smashing Pumpkins to play the end credit song for some reason. You seem very shocked about Smashing Pumpkins. Like you seem I really... love Smashing Pumpkins. Oh. I used to love Smashing Pumpkins. I don't know what they're doing right now. Uh, from what I understand, not much interesting. Okay, good. I, I listened to somebody talk about going to a concert. Yeah. And apparently Billy Corrigan became a Christian at some point. Whoa. So he like... How? But like he changed he like smash lyrics of pumpkins songs. pumpkins and he was like, I, I have to find God now? Well, like or? from what I from what I remember <laughs> hearing, like they like, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in the cage. Yeah. And he like changed those lyrics so that it's less you know nihilistic and really? also like when he gets those songs he just plays them at like double speed because it's clear he doesn't want to be singing them anymore wow that's what I heard so like wow. it, it doesn't seem like something you'd really want to yeah like. but back then I, I, I only know a few of their songs were on the height of the power basically Hunt, 97 it? to like 2002 Hunt, or three. is it them who's like light up light up uh, as if you nope are. who's that that's that's Snow Patrol that is Snow Patrol. Son of a bitch. <laughs> what do they have? Um, Smashing pumpkins and Snow Patrol. <laughs> wow. You are truly not white. <laughs> it's like you're just naming random white as people a, right as now, a aren't white you? white person, I totally know the difference between Smashing Pumpkins. And <laughs> it's like, Reggie, are you just naming random white people? Yeah. <laughs> um, Bill Cosby. <laughs> oh, Hold wrong, on. wrong, wrong! White person. What was the one they had? It was um, what was the slow song they had? Huh? Was Which slow one? S- the Smashing Pumpkins yeah. slow song? I feel like most of Snow Patrol was slow songs. Oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Smashing most Pumpkins of. had a really popular slow song. You <laughs> <laughs> can't just do a broom. <laughs> That's every song ever involving a guitar is starting with a broom. I legit thought doing that would (laughs) help both of us figure it out. (laughs) You're bad at this. Seriously, seriously, I I hope I will never play charades with you. Seriously. (laughs) Well, in all fairness, charades doesn't require require sound. (laughs) Well, it's it's required. If I did charades, I would just be like. It was me miming playing, yeah, singing yeah, a song. Yeah, that's really good for a podcast. Uh, that's why I explained it. I love, I love how, how, how much of a visual medium podcasts are. Um, so, uh, yeah, otherwise... Continue, the, the, yeah, I'm yeah, going to figure uh, this song out, but yeah. yeah. I, I guess uh, otherwise the, the, the music was very humdrum. Yeah, like they had apparently LL was- Cool J in this movie. I think. It yeah. might have just been a black guy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's LL Cool J. I think I've it, read it something. It looks a lot yeah. like him. Yeah. And, and, and it was the time and that it, made And they didn't use an LL Cool J song, which was like, that was a missed opportunity right there. Okay, then, I don't know. For the, for the, for the race. Disarm? Huh? Disarm? Yes. How's that go? <laughs> Sing it. Too loud. Too, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm bad. Look, look, look. I I have a bit that you listened to yesterday of how bad I'm, ba- uh, how bad I'm at music. Like, I'm, I have to bum, enter bum, bum, anti-muted. Bum, 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 bum. I, I feel like, this, I think, we, I feel like I got it. Yeah. I think okay, I nailed yeah, it. you got it. You, you nailed it. Yeah, that song. Cool. So what about that Smashing Pumpkins song? Yeah. Oh, I just like it. <laughs> podcast is already so long <laughs> all right no we're, we're, we're doing good actually we're doing really good all right let, let's move on to best moments all right you 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 said during the movie oh yeah the, i know exactly what the I best already, moment is. i already forgot it again i, I know it because yeah. i wrote it down oh word yes, for word. Because you said not my favorite moment. You said the moment that best encapsulates yeah. the entire movie yeah and that is when I, remember, I think Robin was fighting Hoy's Ivy, and I, I remember she yes. was like on her back. I feel like maybe he knocked her down, and he, she was like, "I'm a lover, not a fighter. That's why every <laughs> <laughs> you real yes, I'm yes. a lover, not a fighter. That's why every Poison Ivy action figure comes equipped with this guy." And she yeah. points to Bane. Like it was, it was legit, uh, yeah. like breaking the floor. Like she didn't look at the screen, yeah. but in 
principle. Yeah. She broke the fourth Look wall. Look at all those cool to commercials say, we have. We're going yeah. to be making toys for this. Yeah. <laughs> Which, as you told me, yeah. it was the design, studio's plan. Yeah. The studio plan to make yeah. a movie Not so they could have. Or anything, but the yeah. studio's plan for a Batman movie was let's have Batman yeah. toys. Because they toys. They were hugely successful with the previous Batmans, but this one designed from the get go to sell as many toys as possible. Right. And That's why they had three dress changes, basically. Uh, Four, four or five different vehicles for Batman and Robin. A lot of stuff. And that's the thing. Like, like I was amazed that they didn't have the Bat Plane again from the last movie. I mean, I don't remember yeah. the last movie what was in it and what wasn't. But yeah. I will say that, like, that is the most lucrative thing about any children's film is yeah. toys. Yeah. That's why you do uh, just, a lot of just it. the McDonald's cross promotion is crazy. Yeah, lucrative. I yeah. mean, like Ben Ten is yeah. crazy because it just just because of toys. Yeah. If you can just do something for kids Pokemon. where where toys yeah. are a thing, you are going to get rich. Yeah. So that's what their plan was. And that best encapsulated it because she legit just broke the fourth <laughs> wall, dropped all pretense of yeah. this being a movie, and pretty much just said like Pepsi, it's a refreshing after a nice <laughs> diet work. Yeah. Glug glug glug. <laughs> anyway, back to the film. <laughs> yes. From from that point, I I, I, I concede that point that this oh. most encapsulated, encapsulated the, like I guess the true corporate spirit of this movie, and the other one for it me it was jaw dropping. It was staggering. Like the other one for me was was the I bet the it was Arnie, a pun. The, the, no, no, not the pun. The Arnie monologue at the end when when he's getting grilled. By Batman, who's actually torturing at th- him at this point. Was his suit not working at that point? Yeah. So he, he was just. He has, oh, uh, yeah, and he had the sun. Yeah, the sun shining. He was essentially and, heat waterboarding him. Yeah. Yeah. Batman is. A, he, he commits crimes in this movie. Definitely. It, again, like. At least. Abuse. All the bad guys weren't. Were goofy and silly, like yeah. like Mr. Freeze had a, a bathrobe. Ma- Mr. Freeze never killed anybody. Dr. Freeze had Dr. a bathrobe. Fritze, yeah, ha- had a bathrobe and was making people sing from a heat miser from yeah. like the old uh, what was it, uh, Raskin and Bob. Uh, the, uh, uh-huh. Those those old puppet movies that Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Where, oh like, yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Uh, but I, no I can't remember the anymore. people who made yeah. it, but they. It was yeah. from one of those films. It was like yeah. legit from that. It was a yeah. song in those musicals. He's having them sing it. Yeah. He's having all his goons sing it while he's in a bathrobe. Yeah. He's like, Ugh, whatever, can't make it work. Um, Poison Ivy is ridiculous in the way she acts and like everything is just yeah. so cartoonish and she's just like a crazy person. And so, so, so you can't take it seriously. And then Bane is the only one who's remotely frightening out of any of the bad guys. And for a kid. For a kid. Yes. For a kid. He yes. was frightening. But at the same time, He's wearing a bowler and a <laughs> trench coat through half the movie as if that disguises oh, him. But oh no, actually, sorry. The the best scene is pandering because this movie is pandering like a motherfucker. And that's the one scene where they paraglide down and Robin yells cover banger. He's using a catchphrase from another popular nineties movie. Because well, uh, that he can. W- yeah. Yes, but not, that, not the same universe. It's not like they live in the same universe. Like where? Yes, well, but you do have to bear in mind that is also vernacular of that era. People did say that. Oh yes, it, I it guess. was surfer slang Wait, didn't, of the didn't, era. Didn't, didn't uh, Michelangelo Bart, and Bart Simpson Charles. said also. I can remember. Oh yeah, right. I guess that's a ripoff on of Kawabanga. No, I can remember. It's just Spanish something. Yeah, but. I don't know. It's something. I don't know if it's a ripoff of it. I don't know if it derived one from derived the from the other. Yeah. But like, I know that like, oh, so, so the, Kawabunga so, was so like gnarly. The, so it wasn't the Ninja Turtles who originated Kawabunga. No, because it was the thing, surfers, and it, then they. The thing is, wait. The, no, did, the, did, we have to did, understand. Did, is did, teenage did Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles culturally appropriate? From, no, from, they were just teenagers, and how better to uh, demonstrate that they're teenagers than to have them uh, use the lingo, current yeah. slang? Yeah. Okay. Like they might have pop, make, made it, it reinforced it and yeah. made it much more popular, but there were people that were saying still, like, still Robin very pandering by yelling cover bango like, while he's radical. Yeah. Is, is also uh, I think he probably even said tubular in in uh, no. totally not, not not in this movie in okay. Ninja, Ninja Turtles like totally tubular. Yeah. and that's all yeah, surfer okay. culture. Tu- so tubi- and, tubular and, and I already knew. And but Robin was surfing when it happened. Yes. So it does still pandering. Look. It's still, 
corny and whatever, but yeah. like I, I won't say that it's a Ninja Turtles ripoff. But like okay, because that's my reference point as an Austrian. I mean, like I will say I'm we sure that if Ninja Turtles here. didn't ha- really, not shocking. Really. Not really. Yeah. Little, no one's surfing bit. in your lakes. In Bungland, yeah, a little bit, but yeah. But I, I think yeah, if Ninja Turtles didn't exist, it might not have surfaced in this film. But it's not. I don't. It's not like. That's a strictly a Michelangelo word. It's just a shitty slang word from the shitty 80s. <laughs> Still being used in 97 for some reason. Ninja Turtles. Yeah. yeah. That's the reason it's yeah. still around. Yeah. yeah. Was so, this 97? Are yeah, you sure it was the 97? The movie is 97, yeah. So, fuck this movie. For you, so oh, that's, you, oh that's, that's, what, that's the turning point. That's the hill you're dying on. <laughs> it's fantastic. It deserves an Oscar, yeah, but they but, said cowabunga. Yeah, yeah, but this... <laughs> I guess the, the sesame chicken wife layer was also pretty pretty indicative of how stupid everything is. I would here. like to believe that it's Mulan Szechuan chicken. Oh, <laughs> mm. Yeah, he just deep froze it back then. Yeah. Was it Mulan 97? Uh, I think 98 Okay, so I don't know. He it already was... pre stocked. He already Again, knew this that movie is ahead of its time. Yeah, in so many aspects. Like Rumbe, the PC, SJW, the, yeah, Szechuan the, Chicken. The PC thing. Yeah, super, super. I was yeah. actually I was actually very surprised that he even that made that PC joke. Yeah. Because it was 97. Yeah. Like, I'm, I wouldn't have been surprised if this movie was like, faggot, hey, don't call yourself Batgirl. That's not <laughs> PC. Because that's the era that the 90s were. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. And there were still Batgirl comic books coming out at this point. I'll take I, your see, word I think for I it. think this still exists. I don't know if this still exists actually. Whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, Jesus Christ. Secret. Yeah, secret category. I don't really have anything because this movie. I don't know. This movie's pretty on the nose. Yeah. There aren't a lot of secrets. Yeah. It's not like, a lot of nuance. Yeah, like I guess we could go for the best pun in this one. No, we can't. Because there is no best pun. Because puns aren't good. <laughs> None of the puns stick. Because I, I thought... I feel like you were just trying to make a pun right there. <laughs> um, I thought that Robin's turning over a new leaf thing was was pretty okay. That's because you're not a native speaker. Oh, okay. All right. I think my Guten Rutsch one was pretty good. Oh, that... that yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that one was amazing. Dude, that was... And then you immediately accused me of being too happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, against those puns in here. Yeah, Except for Arnis. Well, no, 10% of Arnis. Most of Arnis... Ha- half of Arnis' puns, it sounded like he was trying to make a pun and yeah. then finish the sentence and said, wait, where was the pun? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, the, the one I like the most, of course, is uh, what killed the da- dinosaurs, the Ice Age, while he freezes an, a, a brontosaurus. Yeah. That, that one I, I, I enjoyed. And the one where... Where, um, so no secret category in this case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> and the, the everything freezes bit. The only thing well, colder. That wasn't, even, that wasn't even a pun. That was just. That was, that was just... weird. It was weird <laughs> philosophy. I feel like no, the only thing colder than Mr. No, Fritz is. The... I think he failed his thermodynamics class. <laughs> and he has just some. Mi- uh, some 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 knowledge. No, it's fine. You didn't Does break it. Half globe. Yeah, open it. Oh, yeah, more alcohol. Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. Oh. <laughs> Reggie, stop stealing my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what to do with my blood. <laughs> nope, nope. Not gonna cut on the around more material. <laughs> I can stay. Okay. <laughs> no. That's not the point. <laughs> That's not the fucking point. All right. Final conclusion. Let's let's close this bitch up like a bad doctor that half opened the wound. Why wouldn't the doctor continue to open the wound to finish the surgery? Huh? Wow. Yeah, we are the bad doctor. But why are we half opening a wound and then just closing it back up instead of doing what we were trying to do in the first place? Because it would take us another hour and a half to get to this piece of shit movie. 
no, like, we, we skipped like half no, of the plot and we're no, like from nah. that point I'm fine but yeah. like I don't explain more about this doctor <laughs> what do you want to know about this doctor why is the doctor opening a wound uh, maybe there's shrapnel in there and so, he tries so, to clean it and that's why he but he's a bad doctor so he only opened it halfway yeah so instead of removed some of the shrapnel and then he's like nah fuck so it so instead of just like opening it the rest of the way he yeah. just closes it up and like ah, yeah. forget it yeah exactly I don't like this analogy yeah <laughs> okay why did you have bad experience with, with a doctor that only nah it just doesn't make sense <laughs> it does it's illogical <laughs> that was an illogical just so you know that logic was ill yeah like the illest like the doctor. To, like the, <laughs> like the that was some medical puns for your Paul. <laughs> You're not picking up what I'm putting down. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm I'm a bit exhausted after all that work I've done today. But, oh my my my. Recording two uh, two podcasts. Oh, so but do you not understand that before I could record the podcast, I had to watch films. <laughs> so many films. <laughs> two. <laughs> My life's so hard. That is an Austrian everything. <laughs> I have to struggle so much as an Austrian. <laughs> uh, I feel like... In, in, like no, being in the comedy scene really humbled me. No, well, not only... Did it? Hum- it, it yeah. <laughs> you don't look all that humble. <laughs> no, just about the stuff that I have. Like, there's some poor motherfuckers in the Austrian uh, stand-up scenes. Poor as in, like, not funny? No, well, yeah, that too, mean, but... <laughs> no, I didn't want to burn on anybody. No, no, strapped on cash. Oh, yeah. you didn't want to burn on anyone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get it. Cool. Like, no, no, Reggie, you're funny, but you broke as fuck. Broke as fuck. And I am humbled <laughs> to know that I have more money than you. Doesn't sound humble. Doesn't sound humble I don't at have all. more money. I was so I... humbled to find out that you are poorer than me. I, how can I feel cocky when you have no money? <laughs> you may have your art. It really I put, have, <laughs> and the artistic integrity. I joined I the, have money. I joined the comedy scene and I, I had a lot of ego. I would admit, I had a lot of ego. <laughs> but then I saw that you are poor. And now I feel humble. <laughs> now my feet are back on the ground because I have more money than you. Yeah. <laughs> God, I don't think you know what humbling means. <laughs> it's an Austrian humble. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, <clears throat> Yeah. So, final conclusion. <laughs> what, final what, conclusion. What did you feel? Paul's a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely the Batman in this, in this episode. I just love how you, like, straight up said, like, I'm not trying to burn anybody. Then you looked me in the <laughs> eyes and said, some people are really poor. I said strapped for cash. Strapped for cash. Yeah. I'd watch it again. Huh? Yeah? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, You're done now with Batman um, and Rob. I'm, I'm, look, I'm, it honestly... It made me less likely to watch other Batman movies. Really? Yeah, because I, I have a feeling... I liked them all when I was a kid. Yeah. I have a feeling probably none of them hold up. This uh, one... Well, okay, yeah, continue, please. I mean, look, I'm saying 90s and all. I, I, I like... Yes, the Well Kilmer aged definitely the worst of all of them. Well, this one aged the worst because it always was a piece of garbage when it came out. But the Well Kilmer one was... Still, this one kind seemed, of regarded by critics as a, being a decent movie. Not good anymore. Um, the Jack Nicholson one, I assume, Jack is Nicholson still is, good. That one is great because Batman fucking kills people in that one. Yeah, I, I assume like, that one's he's still good. A murderous dickhead. But right? I haven't seen that one since like legit. I was in like well, it, came, it, it came out in '86. Right. Or something. I didn't watch or it when it was new. I wasn't alive yeah. when it came out. Yeah. I, I saw it when I was in daycare, like yeah. before I started school. Yeah. That uh, one is. Great. That's the Tim Burton one. Oh, that's the Tim Burton one. Yeah. Really? Yeah, the first like, one. Because, yeah. like, doesn't the one we watched tonight seem like Tim Burton would have yeah. made it? Yeah. Like, it looked like it was the sequel to Edward Scissorhands. No, it... it I almost it, expected it, a cameo. It, it, lo- it looked like Tim Burton dropped some acid, did some cocaine just to top it off, to get the energy right, and then made this movie. That's how... Because Tim Burton, Burton still knows how to frame a fucking shot. Yeah. And... And like move this. a cam- <laughs> No! <laughs> no! Not that many Dutch angles. 
Like, uh, how do you Edward add intrigue? Ed- Edward Scissorhands was very cleanly, cleanly, cleanly shot. Really, really static frames and everything. Yeah, this really. was static too. Yeah, but it was just all in a Dutch crooked, angle. All crooked. It's the worst kind of. I would like to believe they didn't want Dutch angles. They just spent all their budget on fucking <laughs> the suits and on, everything. on all the random bullshit yeah, that their that yeah, their yeah, camera kind of stand yeah. just kind of like the hinge was like. Err. And yeah. then there's like, let's just, it's, it's already like that. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's keep. We'll going. fix it in post. Yeah, and then they fixed it, and it flipped over to the other side, and they're like, okay, let's shoot the rest in a different angle. That <laughs> yeah. Okay, so don't recommend. No, I mean, like, look. Watch it at least once. If, if you, you want to watch, okay, if you want to watch a movie that's so bad it's good or entertaining, yeah. I mean, it's not like the best example of a so bad it's good movie. Yeah, because it's not bad enough. It's not bad enough to be that, but like if you're watching it with a friend and you have to like analyze plot, cinematography, sound, best moment, <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and some sort of mystery topic, yeah. then you can find a lot of ways to make fun of it. Which did something in the That's what how, this, how, how secret this category was. <laughs> like my brain couldn't even come up with one. Yeah. Uh, um, for me, it's not my least favorite Batman. What's your least favorite? Yeah, my least favorite definitely is the Well Kidman one nowadays. Uh, see, I don't remember what it was like. That was Riddler. Yeah, yeah, and I like I like the really? Riddler. Really? Because I, I have a feeling. No, no, the Riddler is great because it's Jim Carrey at his peak, being crazy, which is the perfect combo. Yeah, I don't just mean but, the Riddler, but, but like the, the, whole... the rest around it is. I don't eh, know, man. It's really like, average, and this one at least tries right. to be unique, even though it tries in the worst really way bad. possible. Like, I remember the whole, like, when I was little, I remember the whole Batman, Robin, dick swinging dynamic much differently. Where I was, like, siding with Robin, and I'm really? like, Really? Yeah, I was a kid. But, oh. like, yeah, it's just like, yeah. I want like toys. Also, like, I was not a popular kid either. So, like, uh-huh. I've always identified with, like, the loser characters. Okay. Like, have you watched Rugrats? Yeah. My favorite character was Chucky. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Makes uh, sense. And, like, that's kind of what it is with a lot. So, like, when it's the sidekick, yeah. I kind of always. Like you, you, you. Uh, I, I wanted to watch that character. Whenever I would like be like in love with a band, I would be like, "Oh, the bassist is so cool!" Like <laughs> that was me. I don't like being the center of attention. I love Lars. He's the best player from Metallica. I don't like it. Metallica's garbage. <laughs> garbage. Okay. Um, but no. So like for me, like it was kind of like that. I liked it, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah look here, right, right, Robin, Robin, you go get it." And now I look back at it, and I'm like. There's no motivation behind how much of a dickhead they are to each other. There's no, like, reason why. No, They're just both assholes to each other I for think, no explainable I they, reason. I think they, they had a loving relationship. They really, really fucked each other's assholes good. And then... The, well, it's Batman uh, and Robin. Yeah. Of course they fucked each other. Yeah, and then the, 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 the sex petered off. The, the and then the, Batman got, got a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Robin is jealous and wants to get his rocks off too. I do. I like the idea that they were fucking each other and then Batman got a side bitch. Because like I said earlier, yeah. the best pussy's on the side. <laughs> uh, <It's> tiny. <laughs> Your words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Robin was like, oh, I'm going to get me a side bitch too. And he's like, no, you're not. <laughs> and he's like, what do you mean? He's like, no, you're not. You're mine. Yeah. I gave you a suit. Yeah. I gave you for that. Uh, for that alone, it's a unique Batman movie and can be watched at least once. I don't know. I feel like if I'd watch this one or the Val Kilmer one, it's not. It's a toss up on. Like this movie was garbage, dude. It was very. Yeah. Much, it was expensive yeah. garbage. Yeah. I think this was one man's most, trash. Yeah, it's another man's still trash. <laughs> it's another man's gaudy trash. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, um, I think we said our piece. Um, Reggie, where can people find you? Plugs. Uh, you can find me on. This is going to be out in like one and a half months. So. That's cool. Yeah. Um, so, well, assuming I haven't been deported, <laughs> <laughs> yay! You will find me. On, Please don't be. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to. Right be. now, my emergency visa wanna lasts wanna until like yeah. two days after my birthday. So that's in July, and then we'll hopefully have something figured out for the rest of the year after that. Please. Uh, yeah. So talk to your countrymen. <laughs> yeah. Give me a number. I have, I have friends in high positions. So uh, <laughs> you can find me on Facebook, no matter where I'm at. Uh, but it'll be. 
Facebook.com slash the Reginald Barris is my fan page. And link assuming in the description below. Link in the description below. And assuming I haven't been deported, you'll be able to find me hosting regular events in Vienna stand up comedy scene yeah. with Vienna Chuckles. That's Facebook.com slash Vienna Chuckles. Right. Chuckles like laughter. I know that that word is apparently very difficult for many Austrians. Chuckles. Chuckles. A lot of them haven't heard it because a lot of them don't know about laughter. Yeah. So let me explain to the Austrians out there. Like, for the rest of us, it's just the sound you make when something's funny. For Austrians, it's the sound you make when a cat dies. Like that. <laughs> ah, oh, yes, laughter. We understand. So, um, yeah, Vienna Chuckles. And I host an interactive show. Uh, a regular show yeah. and then like a, a third show that's kind of different each month right point. on man yeah. right on keep keep on keep on doing that wow that was an enthusiastic <laughs> encouragement sorry dog I'm, 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 I'm dying please away. don't get deported I'm like I'm trying not to this is what I'm doing right cool <laughs> probably getting deported gotcha <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's end on this positive note. Thank you guys for listening, and till the next time, bye. Bye.